From the PeaceFM News Desk, I'm Mark Jones. This is your PeaceFM Regional News. BC Liberal leader Andrew Wilkinson, the leader of the official opposition in British Columbia, joined me on the phone earlier this morning and discussed a number of things, including the rumors of a snap provincial election that might be called by Premier John Horrigan. To be clear, no election has been called, but certainly given a lot of indicators, the buzz seems that it is possible around Victoria. That's the feeling. The multitude over the last few days of announcements coming through from the BC NDP government. It feels like we're ramping up to an election, sir. Your thoughts? Well, the sad thing is that the people of British Columbia are worried about us having the fastest rising uh, per capita COVID count in the country right now. We've got the all-time high number of active cases in BC. We've got an economy that's in pretty bad shape and people are worried about keeping their jobs. And what's John Horton worried about? He's worried about trying to get himself another four years in office. So it really messed up priorities for him, and we are not hearing from anyone in British Columbia who wants an election except John Horgan. Yeah, and of course he's saying officially, I mean, on to credit various other media outlets, like whether it be Global this morning, other media outlets, that he's saying, well, no, I haven't called an election, or I, you know, I haven't decided on anything. And of course that's going to be the, the line that's set until the writ is, is dropped. And of course, there may not be a writ dropped, but it seems to be indicating towards that, given all the announcements. But the, the thing that's disturbing, I think, to probably a lot of people on the street is there is no reason right now. It's, there's been no confidence vote fail. So he's trying to say if he calls an election, he's hinting CASA or confidence and supply agreement doesn't really still have the same mandate. Do you buy that? There's a real concern here that John Horgan keeps talking about himself and his hold on power. Aren't we a little more concerned about 5 million British Columbians who are worried about their health and getting their kids safely back to school and where things are going in terms of our economy? So when he's kind of obsessed with this talk about uh, keeping his job, I think to the people in the peace country, including our MLAs, Dan Davies in, in Peace River North and Mike Bernier in Peace River South, they're saying nobody's asking for this except John Horgan. While we await today's joint statement on COVID-19 for the daily update from Provincial Health Officer Dr. Bonnie Henry and BC Health Minister Adrian Dix, we look back at yesterday's update. That update announced 165 new COVID-19 cases in the province of British Columbia. Included in that number, four of those new cases are in the Northern Health Region. Currently 57 individuals, as of yesterday's update, are hospitalized with COVID-19, 22 of whom are in intensive care. The remaining people with COVID-19 are recovering at home in self-isolation. Sadly, there was one new COVID-19 related death in BC. That brings the total number of deaths from COVID-19 in BC to 220. Today's joint statement, once officially released, will be on Peace FM Regional News and also via the link on our Peace FM Facebook page. If you see breaking news, you can contact us 24 hours a day by email or phone. Our email address, news at peacefm.ca. Our phone number, 1-800-788-5330. That was your regional news on Peace FM. It's Friday, September the 18th. From the Peace FM News Desk, I'm Mark Jones.